Hello and welcome to the lesson for Saturday, 7 November 2020. Our lesson today is titled Two Masters. And instead of being mammon, money, and God, I've updated it to 2020 and made it healthcare and God. Our first quote, there are incurable diseases, but no untreatable diseases, because caring not only means healing, but also accompanying and safeguarding. And our second, from today's scripture, no servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. The first quotation is from Cardinal Paolin, the man who was in charge of managing the health care services of the Vatican and overseeing the 12 charitable hospitals which the Vatican runs and supports with her donations. No one who attends any of these hospitals for care will receive a billing of any kind. Within Italy, they do have a universal health care, but each person, but children, does receive a small patient responsibility based on income. It's from 1% to about 10 or 12% depending on what is happening in the Italian economy. Right now, the cap is 15%. Um, that is so each person feels responsible and each person is aware of the healthcare dollars being a scarce resource. The Vatican, 12 hospitals are run efficiently and are run within a budget better than almost any world healthcare system. Choosing between lives and money. Now that is truly serving two masters to which we can all relate as well as understand. Of course, it was only in the United States that people make money immorally on the lives of dying people. It is the United Health Group in Minnetonka, Minnesota, that posts a profit of over two billion US dollars, two thousand million two thousand million dollars every quarter on just health care division alone. That's not the other divisions they run, but just on the health care division. So on the money paid on premiums that they don't pay out, they make money. In each family, you balance the needs of the family. Do I pay the bills for the family or do I take the children to the doctor? for the annual injections, which are very expensive. This balancing of equities, the needs of the body, the needs of the family, and the needs of the wallet versus the future needs of everyone to do things. For instance, if we all go to the doctor for prevention needs this month, we can't go on vacation next summer in the same way that we balance the equities of dollars in healthcare, we must balance our needs versus the real world. God is part of our everyday lives, or at least he should be. Within your own life, you need to balance work, family, and God. Within your day, how do you incorporate God 
into your daily life? Do you simply have a short prayer time every day? Oh, here, I've got five minutes. I'll pray right now. Or do you try to live a truly Christian life so that each day you don't have to squeeze him in between breakfast and coffee? Do you try to live according to Jesus' teachings so you're not squeezing him in between brushing your teeth and shaving? Remove the second master. Let God help you with the decisions on health care. And hey, I'm part of God's team. I can help you too. Especially with any insurance open enrollment questions and Medicare, Medicaid questions. This was half of a PhD. Remember, I've got all those PhDs and all those degrees. One of them was healthcare insurance, especially government programs. I do insurance in my sleep. If you have questions, send them to my email. I'll spell it out, but it's also in Facebook. Silly Rabbit spelled Sam, India, Lima, Yankee, Romeo, Adam, Boy, Boy, Tom, at AOL.com. So it's silly with only one L and rabbit with no eyes. That'll be easy. And then put in the subject from the group, meaning this group, a question about and then insurance, deductibles, co-pays, etc. And now a brief note about finding Christ in the people we meet, something we've talked about. Last night, or I should say early this morning, I believe I met one of God's chosen ones. When I was leaving the grocery at 4 a.m., a young woman called out to me, Can I help you with that? No, normally I say no, but this time, I don't know why, I agreed. And as she handed me my parcels to put into the car, we started to talk. Quickly, we realized that we were very similar in philosophy, though we were very, very different. She comes from a Southern Methodist background, which is a very different way of looking at Christ. But I realized that we both loved Christ in the same way, with our whole body, our whole heart, our whole minds, and our whole souls. The Lord puts people in your path for a reason. You won't know that reason, but there is a gift from the Lord to each of you in that meeting. When we parted, all I felt was a softness in my soul, a warmth and a joy, overwhelming and all-encompassing joy. Similar, I realized, to the joy I felt in his presence, just, just a sliver of that joy. That is when I pegged. She is of Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus, thank you for showing me your servant, Casey. Thank you for sharing her with me. May you each have such a gift.